And a good afternoon to you. I'm Diane Sawyer at ABC News headquarters in New York, and we're interrupting your programming, as you heard, awaiting the verdict in the Michael Jackson involuntary manslaughter case against Dr. Conrad Murray. The judge is already in the room. Judge Michael Pastor has admonished the room not to react to the verdict that they hear from the jurors when they're coming in. And you're seeing a live picture right now of the judge talking to the room. He will be calling in the jurors in just a moment. But to give you a sense who's in the room, we want you to know that Michael Jackson's family members are there. Don, Dr. Conrad Murray's mother is there. And Latoya Johnson ha Jackson has already tweeted that she was shaking uncontrollably when she walked in that room. So there we are looking at the judge. Let us listen to what happens now. Court has reviewed the verdict form. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, there was a typo in terms of the date of the alleged uh, incident. Uh, it was written June 9th, 2009. And uh, juror number three, you've uh, corrected that to June 25th. You put a 2-5 and you put uh, some squigglies after that? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. I've reviewed the verdict form, which now I will pass to Mrs. Benson, the court clerk. Mrs. Benson will publish the verdict. Thank you. Superior Court of California, Los Angeles County. The people of the state of California plaintiff versus Conrad Robert Murray defendant. Case number SA073164. Title of Court and Cause. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Conrad Robert Murray, guilty of the crime of involuntary manslaughter in violation of Penal Code Section 192, subsection B. Alleged victim, Michael Joseph Jackson. Alleged date of June 25th. 2009, as charged in count one of the information. This seventh day of November, 2011, four person juror ID number 145, seat number three. Is this your verdict? Is this your individual and personal verdict? So say you one, so say you all. Yes. Yes. All jurors indicating the affirmative. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you whether this is your individual and personal verdict. I'm going to be asking you individually if this is correct. If it is your individual and personal verdict, say yes. So the judge is getting ready to poll the jurors, but there we have heard it. It is guilty is of involuntary manslaughter. We to we're told that was Latoya Jackson that we heard screaming, shouting out as the verdict was read. I want to bring in Dan Abrams, our legal analyst right now. You heard the verdict. It is guilty. What does this mean in terms of the future now of Conrad Murray? Well, he could face up to four years in prison now, but I don't think anyone expects he'd serve anything like that in terms of the sentence. He's so probably, up to could be as short as... Yeah, I mean, look, if this were not a high-profile case, I would say to you he might get something like 90 days. Uh, but because of the profile of this case, uh, I think that you're talking about something more like six months to a year. Eight and a half hours of deliberation. Does that surprise you it came so quickly? Short deliberation. Remember, the prosecutors presented an enormous amount of evidence about how badly... Dr. Murray behaved here. Even the defense by the end was conceding he did things he shouldn't have done, he should have done things that he didn't do, etc. But the, the problem was for the prosecutors, can they necessarily prove beyond a reasonable doubt that it was Dr. Murray who caused the death? And these jurors said yes, meaning it seems these jurors did not believe that there was doubt as to whether Michael Jackson could have injected himself with that fatal dose. I want to go to Jim Avila. He is outside the courthouse. And Jim, you've been covering the story from day one. You heard the reaction of the crowd at this verdict. What was it? Well, as you said, LaToya was screaming inside and outside. There was, in fact, a huge reaction. There are at least 200 to 300 people out in front. There you hear this as the, as the verdict was announced. The crowd here went into a huge cheer. Most of them here, of course, Michael Jackson fans, and they were happy that, it was found, that he was found guilty. Give me a sense, Jim, of these jurors. You have talked a little bit about them, and they came from all walks of life, we know. But give us a portrait of them in this moment they have decided to find him guilty. Well, this is a jury that was seven men and five women. 
There was only one African American on the jury. That was a bit of an issue at the beginning. Uh, they do come from all walks of life, so they, that are familiar to people in Los Angeles. A TV director, an actor, a, a, an animator, cartoon animator, uh, but a postal worker as well. During the trial, they seemed very attentive. They were taking notes at all times. Uh, they were uh, they were getting a little anxious at the end that it took so long. When there were long breaks, they would roll their eyes and tell the judge, in fact, mouth words like, we really want to get this over with. So, and they only took about nine hours of deliberation to come to this verdict, so they were businesslike, and they came right back with that verdict pretty quickly. We're told, by the way, several members of the Jackson family were weeping inside the courtroom, but I did not see a flicker of an expression on Conrad Murray's face. Did you, Dan? No, and he's been pretty stone-faced throughout this case. Remember, he knows that there's a camera there. He knows that every single facial reaction that he makes will be discussed and analyzed. And I think he's been very careful to try not to react even to the most devastating. Although he has, look, there's been times when he's broken down in the courtroom. But, but in the presence of the jury, he has really tried, it, it seems, as hard as possible to remain as stoic as he can. He loses his medical license if this conviction stands. Yeah. Will he appeal? I'm sure he'll appeal. And they'll appeal on a number of issues. One of them will be that the jury wasn't sequestered. Uh, the defense team will say, how could you not sequester the jury in a case of this profile? Even during the deliberations, you didn't sequester the jury. They'll also challenge a number of rulings by the judge about evidence that was admitted or wasn't admitted. So you can expect an appeal. So there you have it. Two years, four months, 13 days after Michael Jackson died, we have a verdict and it is involuntary manslaughter by his doctor, Dr. Conrad Murray. And on behalf of Jim Avila and Dan Abrams, we thank you for being with us for the special report.